Welcome to winter. It's that time of year again in the mountains of Colorado where the snow is coming down and you want to make sure you're really prepared for what's to come. And one of the things that can happen to any RVer, but especially somebody that's fairly new, is not remembering or learning how to really clean out their waste tanks appropriately. And why am I talking about this now and in the midst of all this snow that's happening? Because it's bad enough to have to deal with poop in the summertime. But come on, folks, when it's frozen and it's cold and it's wet outside, that has to be the worst. And it happened to somebody in our park last year, somebody who was new and didn't really realize how to take care of their tanks. So I thought today would be a good day to provide you a reminder. So last winter, a newbie in our RV park made a really rookie mistake. Instead of keeping their waste tanks closed and appropriately following a routine of cleansing and flushing their tanks, they found themselves with a poop pyramid in the dead of winter. Yep, a poop pyramid. The poop had to be cleaned out, the tanks had to be flushed, and that ended up being a very costly, dirty, smelly, and cold mistake for this new RVer. After living five years full-time in a stationary RV, we've been diligent on how we maintain our systems in our RV, and that includes both our gray and black tanks. So here's what we've learned and how you can find out more from our recommended experts. The reality is that waste tanks receive liquid and solids that build up in the tanks and on the tank walls. This, frankly, is anything we put in our tanks. So it could be water, it could be soap, it could be food particles, it could be grease, etc., which often enters our gray tanks. Your laundry wastewater may, may flow into your gray tank, and in some cases, it will actually flow into a combo gray-black tank like it does in our toy hauler. Now, poop, toilet paper, and anything else that falls in the toilet goes into your black tank or tanks. If the solids are not flushed out in the tank completely, there's a danger of a buildup or blockages, and they can occur as well as the poop pyramids. Now, in the human body, our stomach produces bacteria and enzymes, and these help break down the solids we ingest, which moves the broken down particles through our system to eliminate the waste. The black tanks in our RVs are holding tanks. They're kind of like a stomach, but without the natural byproducts that are naturally produced in our systems to flush the waste. Therefore, to keep our RV stomachs, the waste tanks, healthy, we must establish a healthy routine to maintain in our RV home to prevent the sensors from misreading and costly hard removal of waste. So how do you do that? Well, my best advice is to follow the experts. When it comes to RV maintenance and technology, I have specific individuals and channels that I recommend because I highly respect their knowledge. When it comes to the health and maintenance of our RV, here are three individuals that we recommend you listen to. So one of the people you really need to listen to is Todd from the National RV Training Academy. They are the experts in the field, and Todd is the head guy, one that's a little newer on the horizons, but is so knowledgeable and provides a lot of visual insight into the issues that we deal with in RVs, is Nick from That RV Tech. I'm going to put the links to all these people below. I also enjoy watching Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. Because of my interest in his RV reviews, I began to using a product that he and his colleagues developed, and that's liquefied, and that is a chemical for your toilet. Because of that, he has really dug in very deep on this subject and and has worked with some of these highly respected industry people to find out the truth behind some of the products we use. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to use any chemicals or anything in my RV's belly that I don't need to use. Now, this product they developed, Liquefied, has been around for a little while. I'm not sure exactly when it came on the market, but we've been using it for real close to, if not a little over a year. They have other products too, and I'll be talking about those in an upcoming video. 
But I seriously want you to watch a recent video that Matt and his colleague Will uh, produced. And this contains interviews with some of these guys I just talked about who are industry experts on how to keep your waste tanks safe, clean, and functioning properly. You're going to be so glad that you watched this. So why am I making such a big deal out of this? And why do I think it's important you watch this video? Because people are trying to be helpful. And in many cases, they're being misinformed. And if you are misinformed, you could end up with one of these poop pyramids or a broken black tape in the dead of winter. And I don't want that. So take the time to watch the video and consider it a PSA. One of the things I highly respect about Matt is he has really brought some strong attention to this whole idea of keeping your waste tanks clean and really how to make sure you maintain them properly. The other thing that he does and what I really respect about him is you can choose to use his product, but if you don't, he's going to share with you alternatives that are just as good and Therefore, you get to make the choice on what it is you feel will match with what these guys in the industry are talking about. Now, I'm also going to put the link below of the products that I use um, from Liquefied Company that I really already like. And you can get those on Amazon or you can get them directly from Liquefied Company. Whatever you do, though, watch this video immediately. After you watch this video, stay tuned because we are providing you with a series of videos about either becoming or maintaining your life as a stationary RV dweller and what that means and how things are a bit different than living in a traditional sticks and bricks home. So like and subscribe so that you will get those notifications. And the first video in this series is coming up very soon. Hey, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And would you do me a big favor? If you like this video, would you like and subscribe? Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.